Reinforcement learning is a learning paradigm that is, roughly speaking, inspired by behavioral psychology, where you have a description of the word, a state space, a set of possible actions that you can take, and a score, a reward, like that, which is based on uh, rewards or punishments you got from doing a given action in a given state. This is El Mahdi El Mahdi, a PhD candidate of the IC School at EPFL, and today with his co-author Adrien Hendricks, a PhD candidate from INRIA in France, we are going to discuss the basics of reinforcement learning, which is arguably today's most promising framework for large-scale AI. The, the very basic example of it is the rat in a maze, and uh, the, the goal of the rat is uh, to go as quickly as possible uh, to the cheese. A simple version of this problem was famously solved half a decade ago by the great mathematician Claude Shannon. This is Theseus. Theseus is an electrically controlled mouse. He has the ability to solve a certain class of problems by trial and error means and then remember the solution. So how is this problem modeled? You model the problem uh, by um, giving incentives uh, to, to your system to get to the goal as fast as possible. So for example, you can give it a reward of uh, minus one at each time step. So you model it by discrete time step, you give it a reward of minus one um, to model the fact that uh, he's more and more hungry and the goal is to go as quick as possible and the reward of I don't know, plus 20 when it reaches the cheese. And so it will um, try different path. So you can take actions, you can for example, here, go down, but then you hit the wall, you get a negative reward. So you remember that when you are in this state and you take this action, go down, it led you to something bad. So you will decrease the likelihood of taking this action in the future. Maybe you will take this action, nothing special will happen. Uh, you will take this action and then you hit the wall. So you will inhibit the, the, the likelihood of taking this action, etc. So you explore the space. The very long path will lead to a negative reward because it won't get the cheese in time, I'd say. And uh, the, the optimal path uh, will be the path with the best reward. And it's the path uh, that the agent will learn uh, to, to, to follow. And so it will really try things, uh, observe the reward and uh, try again and again and again until it uh, sees that there's a path that really dominates uh, all the others. And after many trials, you learned, for example, that this is the optimal path. Those are forbidden states. This is the optimal path to go to reach the platform or the cheese. So reinforcement learning is really based on this trial and error approach as different paths are being tested. Now, in the case of the cheese chasing mouse, these are physical paths in 3D or 2D space. But the paradigm also applies to more complex paths in more complex state spaces. Reinforcement learning, you have states, actions and rewards. It's really based on these uh, three uh, principal components and it's uh, the, the agents. So the system is in one state then it has several possible actions. The consequence of an action is a change of state or staying in the same state and eventually a reward or not, or a punishment, like a positive reward, a negative reward or zero reward. And then uh, it just does another action again in the new states and it just repeats that. And the goal of the agent is to maximize the reward, so to take the sequence of action that uh, maximizes uh, its reward uh, over time. More precisely, given all imaginable uncertainties that the learning agent infers from its observations, the agent will try to maximize a discounted expected sum of future rewards. And in fact, in so-called Q-learning for reinforcement learning, what is learned is precisely this discounted expected sum of future rewards for any given action at any given state of the system. What you want to learn is the expected reward of taking a given action being a given a state you were already in. Now, this example of cheese chasing mouse may be a bit misleading because it might make you feel like reinforcement learning has a very narrow domain of applicability. Well, it does not. 
Recently, Google DeepMind in particular has been achieving spectacular breakthroughs by applying so-called deep queue learning to problems like the game of Go or the Atari Arcade games. The main trick here is to learn approximations of discounted future rewards using deep neural networks. In any case, such breakthroughs are probably only the first of many. In the coming years, especially with the advent of self-driving cars, we will likely see more and more large-scale applications of reinforcement learning. So you're just going to run a whole bunch of those game frames through your network, select random actions, feed them back into the engine, and just create a whole bunch of random Pong games. And now obviously, since our agent hasn't learned anything useful yet, it's going to lose most of those games. The problem with reinforcement learning as a learning paradigm is that you create artificial intelligence whose objective is uh, a bit scary. Get as much reward as possible.